Hello and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will explain you about how to use XLOOKUP in Excel. So XLOOKUP is a new generation lookup function which has functionality of both VLOOKUP and HLOOKUP. So before going into the video, if you are interested to learn about Excel, then consider subscribing to my channel. Now, first let us understand the syntax of XLOOKUP. So here you can see, uh, this is the uh, six uh, function syntax of Excel lookup. So the first uh, syntax is value. So value is nothing but to search any value for or to look up to look up for any value in the array. And the lookup and the second syntax is lookup array. This helps to uh, find out or uh, the array or range of cells to search for value. And the third syntax is return array. This helps to this helps us to return uh, the corresponding value uh, based on the position uh, of the value in lookup array. And the three other syntax are completely optional. So we will also look into these three syntax as well. So and uh, the XLOOKUP can only be used uh, in Office 365 and also 2019. Now let us uh, look at the real example. So, so here I have a sample data of employees and this is the data which we will be using to find out our uh, XLOOKUP values. Now, so here also I have given the syntax so first we will be concentrating on the first three syntax, lookup, lookup array, and also return array, right? And also we will look at the other three optional syntax as well. Now, if you see here, to find out ID, uh, we have this data. So first let us uh, use the VLOOKUP and find out the ID here. So, to, uh, so basically, VLOOKUP only uh, locates the value that is there on the right hand side, means this side, but it but it doesn't uh, look at the left hand side. So let us see what exactly that is. So for example, here I'm writing the VLOOKUP formula, VLOOKUP. And the lookup value here is the uh, our uh, employee name, right? So that is the VLOOKUP and the table array is the our entire data array, right? And enter comma. Now the column index number is, so the column index number here will be the employee ID. So that is what we are, we want, right? So the column index number will be one. And the range lookup here with the exact match. And close the bracket and hit enter. So now you can see, we got the n by a error, right? So that that clearly tells that we look up uh, will not uh, help you to find the values that are there on the left hand side. It will only find the values that are there on the right hand side. But in this data, we have uh, we want the value that is that we want is there in the uh, left hand side, right? So so in this case, we look up doesn't work. So now let us look at the XLOOKUP functionality is equal to XLOOKUP and so here you can see the syntax first what is the lookup value so here the lookup value is Gary Miller and enter comma and the next one is lookup array so let us go back to the data and here the lookup array will be our uh, employee uh, uh, column right so this is where we want to find our lookup array so select this entire uh, column, look of array. And the next is the return array. So what we want to get in return, so, uh, so this is the, uh, the, we want to get the ID, right? So this is what you need to select it, return array. Now again, comma. So till here, first let us uh, look at this three uh, syntax. Thereafter, we will go back to this three. Now, uh, now you can close the bracket, hit and enter. So now you can see uh, with XLOOKUP, we got our uh, value here, right? So ID4, uh, 
so let us see Gary Miller ID4. So here you can see for Gary Miller the ID is ID4. So uh, XLOOKUP has given us the correct answer. Now, now we want to get the answer for this uh, other employee uh, employees as well, right? We want to find the IDs for uh, these employees as well. So generally, what uh, we will do is we'll, we simply drag it, right? But in this case, instead of dragging this uh, formula till the end, and by writing XLOOKUP uh, formula again and again, and by uh, fixing the syntax uh, for every row again and again, what we can do is, so here comes the uh, spill array feature. So, so that is, here is what you can do. Just you need to double click on this and you need to uh, select the entire uh, array here, entire lookup value here. So currently the lookup value is selected for only Gary Miller, right? So now what we will do is we will select the entire uh, uh, lookup value here, lookup entire range of lookup value. Now simply click on OK. Now you can see uh, within single formula we got all of the values. So what we did here, we took the uh, spill reference of this entire uh, employee range, right? So that is what we learned in our previous video about spill array. So that is that is the same functionality we also used in this X lookup. So instead of selecting only one one employee ID, what we did what we did we uh, selected entire spill range here. So here, if you want to again edit the formula, you can only you need to edit in the uh, first row itself. You if you if you try to edit the formula here, you won't be able to edit because uh, this is the, uh, because we are using the functionality of spill reference. So here you can see the formula has got hidden here, right? So if you want to edit formula, you need to uh, click on this. Click on this first cell and then you need to edit the formula. So that is the advantage of using the spill uh, reference in the X lookup as well. Right? Now, now let us look at other three functionalities like not found match mode and search mode. So again, I will edit this uh, formula here and if not found. So, so what does if not found does? Let's say uh, let's say I will uh, enter another name here, uh, James Bond. So here you can see whenever I enter another employee name, what I'm getting here, I'm getting another because the data which I am looking for this name is not there in our raw data here, right? The employee name which I am looking for James Bond is not available in our raw data. So in that case, what we can do, we can tell Excel that whenever uh, any employee name is not found in my data, then uh, name it as not found. Then give me the output as not found, right? And then close the bracket and hit enter. Now you can see instead of uh, getting an error, we can replace that uh, not uh, the, the, uh, the value that syntax with not found, right? So, so that is a uh, example of if now uh, that is the uh, meaning of if not found if uh, instead of getting this n by a error, n by a error we can actually uh, give any name there any value there right now similarly so <clears throat> again i'll go back to gary Miller. so now similarly let us look at the match mode so what is match mode so again it is similar to uh, like uh, it will give the exact match uh, for us or you can see there are other four options exact match or next to so, uh, next to smaller item or exact match or next larger item and wildcard character match so for this uh, case we will only choose the exact match and the search mode is uh, so let us uh, let me close this bracket and explain you what exactly search mode is so, for example, if you have any uh, duplicates of this employee name, for example, uh, let us go back to this data and let us say there are two names in this data for Gary Miller. So, one name is in the top of this uh, data and the other name is in the 
uh, bottom of this data then then we can actually tell excel so uh, we can actually uh, request excel to search from first to last of the data or search from last to first of the data so what i will do is remove this reference and hit enter now what i will do i will simply select this search from first to last and, and click on enter so now you can see so <clears throat> excel is uh, what excel is doing it is searching the values from top to bottom now let us say now let us insert another value here uh, similar to the gary miller name right so what i will do i will uh, add one more value here so here we are having gary miller right so similarly what i will do i will insert another value here for gary miller so id some some value id 99 is gary miller right and some other value now 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 let us see how excel can bring that value here so now you can see when uh, by the time i entered the data excel has uh, excel lookup has already pulled my id here because uh, because as i said so what what did we selected here we selected then this first option right search from first to last so that is why what excel, what excel lookup did it, it took the uh, first uh, first values here first id here right and it got me the correct answer now uh, let us change it to uh, from last to first so in, uh, now let us select this search from last to first now close the bracket and hit enter so now you can see uh, now what excel did it actually searched the it looked up it looked up for uh, the value from last to first so uh, whenever excel has looked up the value from last to first it, it found this value right so that is what we exactly got here id4 so uh, id4 is coming from uh, is in the bottom right so and id99 is in the top so that is how you can use this search uh, uh, search mode option Thanks. right so <clears throat> now for now uh, let me remove this all and let us focus on only this mean syntax and also let us uh, again uh, select the enter spill range hit enter so that is how you uh, that is how we can use the xlookup uh, syntax to get our idc now similarly let us look at the uh, uh, sales value here right so is equal to xlookup and lookup value here is gary miller and lookup array is our uh, employee column and return array is our sales column right so uh, this is what we want we are looking for the sales data close the bracket and hit enter so here you can see we got the uh, we got our sales uh, value for gary miller right so that is what we wanted and <clears throat> Again, uh, instead of dragging this, what I will do, I will simply uh, do the, uh, uh, take the spill difference. So again, I will take the spill difference and I will hit on enter. So now you can see within, uh, with uh, by using one single formula in the cell, we got uh, answers for all the, we got the values for all the, all other uh, cells here, right? So that is the advantage of using spill. So now we got the values for ID and also sales using the XLOOKUP uh, formula, right? So that is how we can use it. Now similarly, there is another example here. So here we have the sales data and also the commission. If you get 0 to 99 sales, the commission is 5%. And if you get 100 sales, the commission is 10%. And if you get 200, Sales, the commission is 20 percent so if you see here the values are completely exact right uh, so here what we want to find is we want to find out the commission for sales of 150 but here the value is completely different it is not matching this uh, sales value right 
So let us see what options we have using X lookup and how we can get this commission value. So again, let us uh, use the lookup formula here. X lookup and the lookup value is this one, 150. And the lookup array is the sales column. And the return uh, array is the commission. So here we have to select the commission. And if not found, uh, what if, if the data is not found, then we will simply enter it as not found and close and uh, enter comma and match mode. Match mode either. So here we have to, instead of using exact match, we have to tell Excel either you uh, give me the nearest smaller item for this uh, uh, commission for this sales of 150 or you give me the larger item. Right, so this will be the uh, best option. So let us pick the uh, smaller item here. And again, in the search search mode here, search mode is not actually important here. So let us close this formula and hit enter. So what did Excel did here? It gave us the smaller item that is there to this uh, sales value of 150. And it gave us the commission value as 10%. Because uh, 150, the, the smaller item uh, for 150 is 100, right? So that is why it gave us the commission by just 10%. Now let us uh, change this uh, uh, value to uh, exact match or next larger item. Let us apply this one and hit on enter. So now you can see the value that is larger than 150 is 200, right? So that is why uh, Excel gave the commission value as 20%. So that is how you can uh, use this uh, XLOOKUP function here as well. So these are the uh, uh, like example on how you can actually use XLOOKUP. So this is how you can use this uh, XLOOKUP formula in Excel. So I hope you understood the, uh, the, the example here and how, uh, and how we got this IDs and how we got the sales values and how we used the uh, split the reference here in the XLOOKUP function uh, to get uh, remaining lookup values here. So if you have any questions regarding the XLOOKUP, then, uh, then please put it down in the comment section. I will answer them. And if you like this video, then consider subscribing to my channel so that I can make, make much more interesting videos on Excel. Thank you.